Take note, bro. Main enemies, your progress, procrastination, your ego. You don't know how to go about it. Fear of failure. Well, well, good morning. This is BMW Pilgrim <laughs> on my way to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, leaving Spokane. Entering the freeway using I-90 West and then when I hit Seattle, I start going north towards Vancouver on the coast. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's the Pacific Northwest. Beautiful forests, perhaps some of the best cuisine, and in fact, the best baristas and coffees in the US. say another group of Sasquatches lives here. I don't doubt it. Why not? If I were a Sasquatch, this would be a really fine place for me to hide. What do you think? I was super hairy so that I could withstand rain, snow, cold, and I enjoyed running around in the woods naked except for my hairiness. That is, if I were a Sasquatch, this would be where I come for sure. These are good woods. Life is a lot like riding a motorcycle long distances. It rains, it shines, it gets hot, it gets cold, it gets enjoyable, it gets miserable. And at the end of the day, what you need to do is enjoy the journey and make the best out of each present moment. thinking about doing a road change in your life, do not only listen to yourself. Find trusted advisors, listen to advice and opinion. In this case, I switched roads by listening to ways whom I trust. And so I found myself in a beautiful, uncongested road that actually saved me a couple of minutes. This translates exactly to life. Listen to people who you trust. There are only two ways of getting knowledge, right? Either by your own experience or by listening to somebody else. And if you're doing both continually, 
We're going to find better roads. With the old road. The fastest way of getting new knowledge is by reading it. The knowledge you can get by your own experience is literally time constrained and context constrained. That means where you are and how long you're there and what you're doing, which in turn is limited by how creative you may be to do different things within a set amount of time in a given context. That's why it's so important to read because you're getting everybody else's experience really fast. Multi-context, multi-cultural, multi-creativities. Your own experience, of course, is important. But boy, is it crucial to get the advice of people that know a lot more than you. And there are many, many, many of them. main enemies to your progress. The first one is procrastination, which basically means postponing irrationally something that needs to get done. The second one is your ego, where you know it all, already. And the third one is you don't know how to go about it. You don't know what to do, you don't have the tools. For this last one, Make sure you self-educate quickly. Fear of failure also stops you from progressing. And for this, the only recommendation is there. Otherwise, you won't know. I don't know what's going on. Vancouver, British Columbia. This is just outside of Seattle. And just like that, less than, I don't know, maybe three minutes, border crossing from the US into Canada, and here we are, Canada. <laughs> amazing. So far it's been an amazing trip. I may say the word amazing frequently, but that's one of the beauties of having your inner child very active. I'm frequently amazed. So Canada has different vibe than the US. The roads are fine, etc. Everything is good, but it's got a different architecture, a different feeling altogether. Of course, speed signs are in kilometers, but architecture, organization, signage, big difference. A tad more European. In fact, my first time ever in Canada. What a great day. So here you begin seeing the Vancouver skyline. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Hi, a dark but not rainy day. In a very clean, beautiful city. That's logs on the water. Majestic bridge. Hey, take note, bro.